hi all so today in this video we are going to see about call integration smart service so this is smart service basically does what is it will use to call the integration in the process model so now we are talking about integration so which integration we are going to use so on the net i have found this very simple integration called advice slip uh, okay so here you can see like we can get random advices with the help of this api okay and how it will work so here you can go to this link and uh, somewhere okay now no, where it is it uh, huh. so this is the url for that okay and this is the address for that so if we click on this address so let's see what we will get so it will give the response as this it will give slip and some id number is there and advice is it's always uh, it's always the quiet one so like this it gives us the response okay so we will try to use it inside our call integration feature so, okay so first of all we need to we need a connected system okay so let's uh, uh, to use the integration and here we will so most common is so this is a kind of http system okay so we will click on the http and here we have to name our integration uh, what the sorry connected system so uh, you can we can name it as advice api okay and here we need to give some logo as well so that we will give it a letter on okay and what is the base url so whatever the url that is given here we will use it as a base url okay fine ha huh. and one thing more is that it doesn't require any authentication so none authentication is fine for now it is a very simple api okay now click on use in integration so if we click on integration so now you can see let's save the security as it is and we have to now create the integration first of all connected system is done and now we will create our integration or let's name like get advice okay and now let's click on create so now you can see that the advice integration is created now okay so let's try to test our request so if you test it so you, it is saying success let's convert into json value and now let's try to test it so here you can see here here you have got the result so see how to check the values so it is very important to know the patterns in which you have to show the value first of all success is there now the result is a type of http response error is nothing connected system nothing and it is false so inside the result if you go you will see like headers is there now body is there two parts are there inside the header some up when you call the integration some details are fetched in through the headers as well so you can see all those uh, all those details are here which we don't require right now now finally our body is here so inside the body what we have seen inside the body slip is there one key so one key slip is there id is there and advice is there when a room painting something like this it is there let's save our changes so our integration is ready okay so now two things are done our connected system is uh, our uh, sorry this was the integration and this is the connected system first of all we need to connect to the external system once we have connected through the external system then with the help of different links or you can say that uh, uh, we can create different request on that so basically it does uh, uh, only one request we are going to see that is random advice uh, device by id also we can do searching it way so that you can practice on yourself okay so now we have done it so now let's try to create a process model okay so uh, get advice by api something like this i have named of a process model let's save the security and now we will use other smart service that is call integration smart service okay so now this is huh. so now you can see that blank canvas has opened let's give it a lane okay so now so now let's see where is our call integration so let's search call so you can see two things are coming here call integration call web service so the 
uh, now here we are seeing about call integration so let's use this call integration and drag it here okay so call integration has been used here okay and now let's go inside the uh, properties of the call integration like where we have to embed our integration how to get the data from it now let's go to the setup tab so once you have reached to the setup tab you can see here it is saying that select the integration that you have created right so let's select the integration this was the integration that i have created let's paste it here oh it is not getting pasted so i have to either write it yeah get advice so you can see here i have used the get advice one and now i will click on ok so i have not done anything much here what i have actually done is i have just used the integration nothing else let's try to uh, publish it and see that whether i am able to get the data or not or should i do anything else so let's debug the process and now you can see that it is successfully ha huh, it has successfully completed now let's see the details oh we have not created any process variable that's fine but this integration was successful it means that nothing else is required even if we give the correct integration name it will call the integration now we have to get the data as well so for the setup here if you see that it is written below the integration only that map rule inputs or outputs using the data types so we have to map the outputs using the data type and just beside that there is the data type and here in the input you can see that what all the inputs are required for the integration but this integration didn't require any input directly we are using it and we are getting our result every time right uh, it doesn't require any inputs fine let's move on to the output type in the output type you can see here the results are marked here and the these results are similar you will find that it will be similar to that only and whatever the value that is fetched here it will most try to get it here so success is what you can see here success is boolean it was boolean then some result was there which is a type of http response and it is also http response error is null connected system null and you can see error and connected system are there so let's try to create these variables okay success result i guess that's what is but a small case looks better and now let's see the connected system okay and now once again we will try to publish it and we will call the integration to see that what all the data are there so you can see in success it is is returning true so in the integration output also it should get true result all the data is inside the result only so everything should be data should be in result there error is null so there should be it will be null and connected system null and this was not there fine so now let's try to refresh it once it is completed and now see here it is there connected system no value fine it is not fetched error no value success is true so it is getting success means integration is successful but result status line is written here okay that's fine http 200 okay fine status code is also there after that the body is not there but why in the body you can see actually that in the headers object object it is written in the body as well object object it is written but it should be like this okay why it is not there let's see the process details once and ha huh, see a strange uh, i'm getting the all the data whatever the data that is there i'm getting all the data here 187 id is can saying the advice as what the sun always shines above the clouds so something like this it is giving here but i'm really not sure why it is not coming in variable style fine so now our data has reached there okay so uh, now what we will do here is uh, currently you can see that the instance it is saying giving all the data but we will what we will do here is we will extract the data uh, into some script task or you can say that here as well in the output type we can do it and that's not a very big issue uh, okay in the output only we can get the 
data here but let's not do it inside the integration uh, let's take a separate script task and here we will uh, name here ext uh, extract advice something like this so where is the advice located so let's see so if you go to the variables tab you can see the advice is located in uh, let's see the integration first of all everything is inside the result right after result there are body inside the body then sleep then advice so this is the uh, path for that okay so here as well somewhere this should be there so let's try to see here body it is it is giving the body and just below the body content type so here is the body so we have to go to the body advice and then it means that uh, let's go here and let's go to the advice data and output let's set the outputs here okay uh, PV bank you can say here PV bank result is the all the data is concerning inside the result if you if I give dot here so you can see automatically I'm going back to the body part so let's go to the body inside the body where the our advice is located inside sleep and then advice so we have to move two parts more sleep dot advice right and now let's close it here save and close and let's name this as advice okay it will be a type of text and now let's save it and now let's save and publish it and now let's click on debug the process so once we have debugged the process let's see are we getting the advice ha huh, see here we are getting the advice now the main focus of the integration was what what was the purpose to get a data now we have extracted the data in a process variable now we can use this data anywhere we want you want to like if we want to email this advice every day to our uh, to the colleagues or whoever you say you can send an email okay or we can also use there is something called post e feed service so there are multiple feed services so let's not email it to somebody uh, let's what we will do here is you can see that it is a tempo so tempo is available and inside the tempo there is news tab it is mostly unused only so this is the news tab for the tempo part uh, it is uh, some something is there okay so we will what we will do here is we will try to post the uh, whatever the data we have got in the news tab okay so post event to feed right so now how to post event to feed for that let's see what are the things required for that so only let's uh, focus on the mandatory parts if we do the mandatory then most probably 100% will work only 99% okay let's say feed so it needs a feed of type feed what is the type feed so for feed if you go to new you can see that one option is there called feed so first of all we have to create a feed okay so let's say like advice feed i have created right so something like this one feed i have created let's save the security fine and now what we will do here is i have created the feed so let's go and see here advice feed is reflecting here as well now what is the message so the message is something as pv bang advice this is the message that i want there okay and all things are not mandatory so i won't even touch that okay let's publish it okay and now let's debug the process so once we have debugged the process so integration and feed it means that some data should came come here so now you can see that the feed is coming some of life's best lessons are learned at the worst times but you can see like uh, all the data is similar to this only okay uh, so let's make it uh, we can uh, do something like we can give some names like uh, extract advice we are extracting it right so and just before that I guess we can add something like uh, 
quote of the day okay quote of the day we can write okay and now let's give it here so not sure okay all this data will get saved and let's see like this so let integration is called and now let's see if I refresh it so you can see here quote of the day plant a tree okay so something like this so let's make a small change once again uh, not here it was here and let's go on the output and here we just wanted to give a bit colon okay and this that's it so now let's publish it once again and now let's debug it once again so now once again it will trigger okay so now let's see it here so now you can see quote of the day most things are not as bad as you think they are so this is the kind of thing that we have we can customize it much more with the help of some expression rule we can build but our main focus was like how to call an integration with the help of this smart service so that we have called we have extracted whatever the result we have got and we have also uh, posted that event to the feed as well okay uh, so that uh, that so the most important part was the call integration so first step is what in here we have to go to the call integration uh, okay and we have to call the integration in the data tab all the data if any input is required so we can give the input here if outputs are there we can capture outputs from here only okay and once we have got the output so we can extract the uh, data in our output tab and save it into some pvs so in this way like we can do it okay so that was all in this uh, okay for now thank you